Our first interview from Yusal Wong Karavitsa Day 2 from the quarterfinals is now here. NBK is here with me, first semi-finalist really. So just well, how, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling very good. Uh, I think it was a very good game overall. <laughs> the first two maps were very entertaining, I guess, for the spectators. And uh, yeah, it's just, let's say, kind of sad that it ended up in Cabo Story before this year, for the whole show. Right. So let's talk about the video <laughs> first. How, how did you yep. think it went for you guys, really? Did you expect those, uh, well, at least those, those first two maps to be to be through, or did you expect them to ban your cache? Because they we haven't seen much from Navi and Cash. So really, what did you expect? Yeah, I think the veto was pretty damn good for us, because, yeah, as you said, Cash is a map they not practicing that much, I guess. Um, aside from that, Dust2 is also a very good map for us, but uh, they had a very, very strong game there, and uh, they completely earned that map. And Cobblestone, well, I know they practiced it, uh, they were quite good on it, but we managed to shut them down quite easily after that one on three from Shocks. Mm -hmm. We just had the momentum going and we could read them extremely well. Um, like the whole team could read them well, and uh, yeah, that was just... I think one of the only perfect game we had so far in the tournament. So what about the first two maps? As you said, they were they were much closer than the last one. Yep. Uh, first up was Cash, your your choice actually, but it wasn't so one-sided as we thought. Maybe it was 12 to 12, I think, at one point. Yep. So was there ever a point where you thought that that this could, this could slip away, that you could lose that that one map that was yours actually? Yeah, we just thought it off. I think the T side very poorly. Uh, they were up 6-0. <laughs> and um, then we managed to come back 6-5, that was just like tough, but like we knew they were not doing anything amazing or like extremely crazy because they're not practicing the game that much. But yeah, at 6-5 for them, I think we tried to just push A very quick, it didn't work, but if we would have won our round we could have gone up uh, very high. Uh, however, we kind of crashed at the end of the first half. Uh, coming on the city. <clears throat> Yeah, we just had a good gamble when we won the first eco round. And from that point, we could shut them down quite easily because they don't have that much experience on the map. And uh, yeah, we just made the good calls, the good choices, and we played well overall. So I'm just happy about how it went. There were a few 1v1s, 2v2s, very, very clutch situations uh, from time to time, really. And towards the end, I'm not sure if you remember this one, but uh, Edward was, I think, up against Smiths, who was on short, and he wasn't even sure Edward was coming from behind. And he had like, he only had like 10 seconds left, so Edward decided to hunt for him. Uh, did Smiths actually hear him, or was it just uh, like a random decision to go towards the CT so he couldn't see him? Uh, so the thing is, yeah, on this one, I remember that one. Um, it's just that. We didn't know where the bomb was, and we couldn't see it in A, mm -hmm. and he didn't have time to go B, I guess, so... Well, it would have been close. Basically, actually. yeah, I think that would have been very close, or like he couldn't have time, but... Yeah. Uh, he just grabbed that information when he went on the A bomb site, and uh, once he saw that he was not there with all the gear, like he threw a Molotov uh, flashes, and he was still not there. So the only solution was that he was either squeaky or um, our middle. And uh, yeah, at one point we heard Edward running uh, party when he didn't have time, and at that point he just had to hide. And uh, yeah, that was, uh, I don't know if it was lucky, but that was well played, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so what about Dust2? It was, uh, once again, uh, it was pretty close, but you were in the lead, I think 14-10, uh, or maybe, yeah, 14-10, I think it was. So, uh, what do you think went wrong from from there, basically? Because they won six out of the last, uh, most of the last rounds, basically. So, what did you think uh, went wrong? I noticed one thing. Maybe I'm wrong about this, but Shox was missing a lot of shots, a lot of crucial shots on uh, on short, and just sometimes he wasn't able to do anything because uh, they were pushing from short. There were a lot of smokes, flashes. So, what's your take on this? Um, <clears throat> on the city side, uh, Happy is the main guy basically for us. He's uh, either gambling on the A or B bomb site and we're just betting on the fact that he makes the good choices. Right. Uh, he had a very like a lot of wrong decisions and a lot of uh, bad timings and bad gambles. And uh, that's why he made the game kind of let's say easy for them on the T side. Uh, coming on the CT, I think that at that point we had some very good rounds and I think we went into the good zones, but we just couldn't capitalize because we were kind of short on money sometimes and uh, Navi could just block us off. And like they played very well, Guardian was 
on point in his B bomb side and middle. Uh, same for Seized and, uh, and Starks on A. So it was just very tough to break through that defense because they were like either going 3 on B or 3 on A, 24-7 right. changing. Mm -hmm. And um, I think we made a lot of good decisions, but we just couldn't capitalize and uh, actually get around. But there was a lot of close rounds, uh, especially that two, on, uh, that one versus two that Edward won. Yeah. I think that was one of the key rounds of the game. And um, yeah, coming from that, they just had the momentum going and they played very well. How did you feel like going into Cobblestone's last map? Because we only saw them playing uh, this particular version once, and that was uh, at this tournament, and that was against Fnatic. And they just lost, I think, 13 2 as, uh, as their t terrorist side. So it's like, uh, what, what did you expect going into Cobblestone? Did you expect such a stomp, or did you, did you feel like you had the game in your pocket already? No, to be honest, we were, let's say, kind of afraid of playing Cobblestone against Navi because we practiced them on the internet and they showed a very good thing and very good game. So we just started from the beginning. Um, we managed to clear our mind. We started off very strong. And yeah, we just read the game extremely well, I think, uh, and what they were doing. And that was the good plus for us. We had the headshots and we had the reads. And it was just a bit shaky at the beginning, but once Sharks gets that one on three, we just got everything going. And uh, after the timeout, we managed to read exactly what they were going to do to go fast A and to push. And uh, once we just crushed them on that round, it was just, I'm not going to say easy, but we knew that they were kind of lost and anything could happen. So we just had to secure the bomb site and just wait for them to come. So overall, I think we played the very solid game on Cobblestone. So up next for you is going to be either NIP or TSM. So, well, you've, you've met NIP, like, I can't even count how many times you've met NIP in the last few months, uh, obviously with a different lineup. So, uh, but still, how do you feel like that, that specific matchup TSM uh, NIP is going to play out and uh, who would you rather meet? Do you feel like you want to, like, meet, uh, meet NIP against to, to, like, put them into their place, I guess? Well, I think the game between NIP and TSM first is going to be very explosive. Like, I expect a lot from that game. I think it's going to be extremely entertaining. Um, NIP, they want to prove that they are among the best still. And, uh, and I mean, they are. So, they want to prove that. And then for TSM, they have that will and that power to just show very strong things as well. Uh, I mean, the device has been on point, I think. So far, um, Karigan wants to prove that he is one of the best leaders. So that game is just going to be amazing to watch. And uh, concerning me and who I'd rather face, I would, yeah, I mean, for history, I would rather face NIP. I mean, we have a good record against them. Uh, we have a good friendship as well. So yeah, I would love to face NIP. And if we face TSM, well, be it. <laughs> and we're going to play our best and, uh, you know, take them down to go to the final. So in case you do play on IP, uh, as I said, they have a different lineup now. They have Alo, which is uh, a little different upper to, to what Michael was. Mm -hmm. So what do you expect from them, really? Do you, are you, do you fear that specific change from them? Do you feel like uh, you won't know what they were going to do? I think the scariest thing with NIP is that when they have that base of four players that are playing for so long together, like they can win the game by four of them. And if you had Aru, if he has a good day, he can definitely make the difference and like, you can see one of the biggest NIP ever. So, so far it looks like a good addition. Uh, obviously, it wasn't that long. It was mostly internet, I mean, it was only internet games, I think. And um, I think communication is just one of the main issues for them and they worked on it. So, I expect NIP to go big still. And, um, their roster is very solid. The game they showed in group stage was very, very solid. So, NIP, NIP best. So how do you feel, as the last question, uh, about the other half of the bracket? There's uh, Virtus Pro and KD, and now there's going to be uh, Penta up against, uh, well, Fnatic. up against Fnatic, sorry. Um, so what do you expect, uh, what do you expect from that half of the group, of the bracket, sorry? Uh, I think the Fnatic Penta game can show some good things because the Penta guys have got absolutely no pressure. They had their objective, they're here, and now they're facing the best team in the world, basically. Mm -hmm. So they're just going to play their best with no pressure, as if it was 
not gonna say almost not on game, but they're just gonna go for it and like try to grab their chances every time there is one. So, but I mean, in the end, obviously, Fnatic has got everything on lockdown. Um, I think it should go 2 0 for Fnatic, but I think it could go quite close core if, um, if Penta decides to show up. Regarding Virtus Pro and uh, Pain Key Dynamic, the problem is in this key. matchup, yeah. yeah, key, key, sorry, Pain Key, yeah, there's no planet. Key, no. Okay, sorry. Um, the thing between Virtus Pro and uh, the Brass Unit <laughs> is that they match up uh, quite bad against Virtus Pro because the best maps of Virtus Pro are good maps from key dynamics, but I don't see them taking Virtus Pro on those maps because Virtus are among the best on like maps like Mirage, Cache, and I don't see them too strong for the Brazilian sadly. But I mean, they I think they had their main goal, which is going through the groups and going into group stage. Um, now, once again, it's just going to be no pressure, and all up to them to just go in and uh, and show their best. But I see it going to zero for VT as well. Now you have the rest of the day off. What do you have to say to, to everybody, to fans, sponsors, everyone? Well, first of all, if you have the chance to come here in Katowice and come at the event, it's just amazing. There is a lot of space for everyone. Uh, the crowd is mental. The games are good. It's a major. If you can come, just come. That's the one thing. <laughs> and uh, then, obviously, there was lots of fans in the crowd, uh, probably Lots of people on the internet and thank you very much. It's always extremely good to feel supported and uh, to know that people are behind us and uh, we're always very thankful for that. For that. Uh, and last but not least, uh, I'm going to thank Envious, obviously, for sending us and supporting us like this. With all our sponsors, uh, Scuff Gaming, Games, Monster and Astro, obviously. <laughs> Obviously, I'm never going to forget them for all the quality stuff they give us. And yeah, thank you for the interview and having me. So that was the... Uh, I thought it was going to be a quick update, but it was a little longer than I expected. But Sorry. that was NBK. It's absolutely okay. Uh, from NV as the first semi-finalist, we're hoping to get a hold of some of the teams that aren't in the, in the, in the bracket, some of the teams that went out in the groups, but also the winners of the, the bracket matches, as well as Navi, who just lost.